Hello everybody, my name is Blani and I'm going to take you on a tour of this beautiful home behind me. This home is located in Baltimore County. It's about 30 minutes from downtown Baltimore. 5,600 square feet, five bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. The owner is an artistic and highly skilled craftsman and cabinet maker who planned all of the details meticulously throughout this home. Let's go see. Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome to 14225 Longnecker Road. This beautiful home was built by a master cabinet maker and we have the privilege of viewing this home today. So follow us in and I will guide us along. This is a great room with a barrel vaulted ceiling. All of the woodwork in this home is quarter sawn white oak, which is very special. So Michelle, didn't you tell me that the owner was inspired by something when he decided to create this interesting ceiling? Yes, actually House of Cards series gave him the inspiration for the barrel vaulted ceiling. Also in this room, which I find fascinating, he also did a copy of a Frank Lloyd Wright fireplace. Um, the brick is more reminiscent of years ago. It's um, very special brick, Roman iron spot to be in particular. As you walk in this area, when the owner built this house, he wanted great flow for parties. So as you can see, there are these beautiful French doors that open up into a sunroom that gives you lots of great flow. This is a very large open space. It's a three season room. There is a stack fireplace, which does not share the same chimney, but it is there in a completely functional wood burning fireplace. So you could have two fires burning at the same yes, time. Yes, you absolutely could. The other interesting thing about this room is that these arched windows are vintage and they came from a parochial school in Baltimore City. So they're very special. There are four of those. This house blends a tremendous amount of old with all the, all the advantages of a newer house. We have um, over here, there are also outside decks pretty much around the entire home. I love how the windows are arched and they're matching on both sides. And this is the side of the sunrise. So when the sunrise comes through, the light is just beaming this beautiful golden morning light in this room. Well, he was talking about that. He was saying it almost had a Stonehenge effect that the, the sun at a certain angle would just come straight through. And the light play in that was quite amazing. Also over here it is direct east facing and during the winter time you can see the skyline and you can see probably seven to ten miles which is quite wow. a panoramic view. Obviously all kinds of wonderful wildlife and although we feel that we're down on the back side of the house we're actually elevated with all these incredible views bringing really the outside in. And in the summer, this is just filled with trees and yes. leaves and beautiful yes. nature. This house sits on five acres and there is a one acre building lot as well. What does that mean that another person that bought this could come in and add another structure? They could add a whole nother residence. It's a separate building lot. Wow. So it could be a you know, parents or grown children mm -hmm. that want their own spot just happens to be next to the, oh. the main house. I really like the owner's decorating skills and especially this little vintage toaster. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he has impeccable taste. He is very detailed oriented. And when you say that he built this house by hand, he literally built this by hand. And a lot of the cabinetry was manufactured not manufactured, but hand built downstairs in the amazing basement that we will see in a little bit. Wow. So here is where he enjoys TV and easy reading, family room, right? Obviously we have the kitchen here. I love how everything is so open and even though the rooms still have their place, they're still very open to each other. Yes. This is certainly a chef's kitchen. The cabinetry is probably the, the showpiece of the house in that all the cabinetry is custom made. 
Michelle, so tell me about these details on the cabinets. I've never seen cabinet pools like this. He, he went to Second Chance, which is a wonderful old store that just saves all these wonderful things from years gone by. And he saw those and felt that it would be the perfect adornment for his handmade cabinets. One of the wonderful features about this house is when the owner built this house, he, had, he was in construction and this wall right here was completely blocked off. And he had a revelation that he should put a window there because then you get the light spilling both ways. And it just is a wonderful, you know. It adds to the openness. It well, and like. it's very unique because when do you have a window that is sort of a, a two-sided window? Mm -hmm. So you can always see who's coming in the front door, even if you're in That's the kitchen right. cooking. That's right. So what is the correct term for this exactly? I forgot. Well, it's like a five. Well, it's a cooktop uh -huh. and you have a pot filler here, which is wonderful because you're not lugging pots all over the oh, place. Oh, so like if you're cooking your spaghetti, you can just. It's a pot filler. Cool. Yes. So you have water there. And of course you have your sink here. Again, what I love about this house is the uniqueness of the detail even something as simple as lights. He has taken this beautiful cornerstone white oak and made it a template for the lights. The molding around it is just so beautiful. Yes. Did he create this himself? Yes. Wow. Yes. Over here you have a butler's pantry and obviously a separate sink with incredible storage everywhere. Um, some of them reminiscent of years gone by. And off of the kitchen, you have great outdoor space as well. And this flooring, I remember he said that this was cork flooring, which is often used in kitchen because it's so soft and easy on your feet. Yes, and warm. The other little details that he has thought along the way, simple things like lights underneath the counter here and on the far side of that island on that L shape as well. And that adds a lot of warmth and character too. So you can have all kitchen. of your recipes right here in the kitchen under the table. Yes. I love that the kitchen has this little sit in desk sort of thing and all of the cabinetry is just so incredibly detailed and perfectly matched. So you could put recipes in here or whatever. There is so much storage in this house. So you have a spot for everything. You don't have to worry about where you're gonna put anything because you can always organize it and find the place. Nothing has to be messy. Here we have a powder room. And again, everything, no, no expense spared. I also very much love this variation on cabinetry. There is detail and depth to the workmanship and, and everything that this homeowner has done. Even the counter, the beautiful granite counter, has these end pieces that are reminiscent of more of a work table rather than just a kitchen cabinet. This beautiful island was actually inspired from a architect's workspace where he used two sawhorses on either end and file cabinets underneath. To hold up his table? Correct, yes. The owner is truly passionate about detail. He spares no expense and every square inch of this house is special. To the fact that these drawers come out a little bit and the ones below are reminiscent of bins years gone by. Wow, look at this. There's even drawers in here that match everything perfectly. Nothing is hidden and, away that's lower quality. It's the, all high quality stuff. These drawers are quarter sewn white oak as well. So. Even the ones that are behind the doors. Yes. To speak to the owner's attention to detail about every little thing, he even has a special spot here for the mixer. So you can come here and use the mixer right in the cabinet. You don't have to put it away later. It's plugged in, it has electricity. So you can just be cooking your cookies put them in the oven, mixing them right here. When you want to pull it, put it away, you just pull this little lever right here and it slides right back into the cabinet. How cool is that? 
How cool is that? So like we were saying, this kitchen has a spot for everything, but where is the trash can? Funny you should say that. He did not want them sitting out, obviously. So here we have recycling, and you have three different containers for recycling, which I guess at, in the early 1900s, maybe there was no recycling, so that would be an upgrade. Over here we have regular trash. So again, everything handy, and, but hidden, which is beautiful. I think we talked a little bit about this space, but these cabinets are very nice in that they add lots of extra storage. Over there is a broom closet. There's so much the room taller. for the pantry. Yes. And then... Oh, yeah, wait. This was actually cool. Yes. And so this is the broom closet, you said. It even has an outlet to charge your vacuum cleaner or whatever yes. you might have in there that needs to be charged. Yes. And then in the... Springtime, what I love about this house is pretty much wherever you are in this house, you turn and you find a door and you can go outside and bring the outside in. So that covered deck with a sunlight to boot. It's screened, this porch is all screened in? It's yeah. all screened in and it's got actually three sunlights. As you can see, there is actually plenty of living space. You've got dining area up there and then lounge area here with a wonderful swing that you can enjoy a nice breeze in the summertime. I love to be outside, so I feel like I would be sitting on this porch all the yes. time. Yes, and, and look, at, look at the view. You've got all these beautiful woodlands and pretty much any time you come out here you see some sort of wildlife. I bet there's lots of deer in these. Lots of deer. We have beautiful fox eagles. Wow, there's eagles? Oh yes, very much so. Oh, cool. Lonnie, if you come through here, you again have more of that beautiful detail with the center cabinet being a little bit lower. Wonderful lighting here. So this pantry has great workspace and a separate sink. Um, the owner decided that he wanted this space to feel different than the kitchen, which is why he used the beadboard on top. And then Blani here, we have hidden away Great laundry, his custom cabinetry where things slide and everything has oh, a place. Yeah. That is one of the best features of this house to me. Everything has a place. It's yes. much easier to keep your house clean when you have a spot to put everything. And the, the cherry on top is it's literally all custom. Mm -hmm. and then we come through here. This is obviously the dining room. Um, it's got a beautiful slate floor and a true plaster dome, which again, the owner did by hand. Not this many, was custom made in for this particular house. Custom right? made for that spot in this house. Mm -hmm. I like how um, the dining room has this wainscoting with this shelf here, so you could put pictures. Yes around here. Yes, I suppose decorative plates. Again, this house being the outside living coming in, we have another door to the outside. This is the same space that we looked at before, but it's another way to get there. Everything is so has such a good flow. It does. Everything is very easily accessible and open, even though there are so many separate rooms. They're all very open to one another. It's a lot of square footage, but it lives very comfortably and very casually. Great lifestyle. Here we have, leaving the dining room, we have these beautiful pocket doors. So if you do want to close things off a bit, you, you can, which I think is a nice feature. We are now entering the office. And this office has 16 file cabinets, again, all quarter sawn white oak, um, custom made, actually all made downstairs in the owner's workshop. The, the ceiling, ceiling, another incredible ceiling in this house. The ceiling in this room was actually inspired by the Winchester Mystery Home in San Jose. It was actually the ceiling in the master bedroom but it is spectacular along with lights that fit so well in this room. As we walk through, we now are entering the library. And this is actually a handmade piece that the owner built along with a machine base to give it a little bit of a different feel. Again, in here we have all custom 
cabinet. Bookshelves. Wow. And more storage. More storage and a continuation of this beautiful ceiling. And of course, our wooden returns, quarter sewn white oak returns. It's interesting how you could have this as your meeting room if you had a business in this house, and yes. then right over there is your office. Yes, and if you want to close it off, again, there are pocket doors right here that will. Oh, and everything is still going to be open looking yes. because there's these glass panes. Yes. And then we are back to the, the foyer with the beautiful bench that actually lifts up for additional storage. I don't know if we pointed that out before, but this actually lifts up again for additional storage of winter coats. And, and here's the coat closet. Yes. And that takes care of the inside space on the first floor. Would you like to see upstairs? Absolutely. Great. Well, let's take a look. As we come up, again, you will notice the continuation of a lot of quarter sawn white oak all throughout. This is a beautiful little spot, not quite a library, but a little nook where you can grab a book and spend hours here. Everything and in here has so much nice natural light too. Yes. There's this window and there's so many um, skylights in this house. Yes, and those little candles are actually operate on a light switch, which I think is pretty cool. I guess we will head this way first. Here we have a bedroom with a nice Berber rug. We also have a beautiful detail here for pictures or small mem memorabilia. Whatever you want to hang up there. Yes, and then here we have closets. Oops, there we go. Plenty of storage. And when we go down to the next bedroom, I will show you the sleeping porch that happens to attach to this bedroom as well. So we will go. Michelle, is there something, I mean, because I'm from a cheap old house, but is there something special about these? Well, they're solid wood. And I think it's, um, I don't know the name of the design, but they're solid wood with, with very nice hardware. Mm -hmm. And of course you have the wood, again, the detail on the wood. And another little shelf. Yes. Here we have a hall bathroom. And what's neat about this hall bathroom is the window that is on top is from the parochial school that we talked about in the sunroom where they came from a parochial school. And but it's, it's overlooking the sleeping porch you're yes, going to show me later, that's, right? That's exactly right. We're now going into the second bedroom. And this bedroom, again, has a Berber rug, lots of great light. And the thing I love about this room is that you have access to a sleeping porch, which is lovely. And we can come through here. But it gives you a nice view of the front of the, front of the property and a little bench right here to grab a good book and a nice coffee. What, are, what is this facing? This is facing the front of the house, the circular driveway, mm -hmm. so it would be facing west. Off a little bit to the left would be where the sun would set, mm -hmm. and you do, especially in the wintertime, you get beautiful sunsets. So you can sit here on the sleeping porch and watch the sunset Absol with a good book. Yes, and a hot toddy or a, or a hot coffee. I'll go for the toddy. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. I think this is a lot. Oh, this is... This is access into the first bedroom that we already looked at, but just to give you an idea that it's sort of a, a Jack and Jill sleeping porch, so to speak. And this is bedroom number three, and we just have a nice bedroom with beautiful antiques and a bath right in there with beautiful tile floor and subway floor going halfway up. And if you do look out the windows, Blani, the, the views are spectacular. We're now facing east again. So you have the view of actually the Sparks Water Tower is in the distance that you can actually see. And here we have another bedroom actually currently set up as a guest room with a day bed 
And, and again, again, all these wonderful closets. Yes, actually two closets in this room, which is nice. And more great windows. And we also have this detail up here for books or pictures. Mm -hmm. And that finishes the bedrooms on this side. Now the best is yet to come. We are now going to the master bedroom, master suite. Here we have the master bedroom suite. Very, very large room with a king size bed. Uh, the nice feature about this room is you have a deck out there, so you've got more outdoor space, and you've got a little loft area that ends up being a wonderful little office. I feel like I would um, usurp this as my office if I lived in this house. Yes. It's tucked away, but yet very convenient for being in the master bedroom. And it really does something interesting to the lines of the ceiling. Yes, right? it does. Very interesting detail. That was an afterthought. He built the house and he realized he had space. So rather than close it in and have it be rafters, he decided to open it up and create that wonderful little space. So creative. Yes. And then here we have a closet, which is... This is the middle. men's closet, right? Yeah. But, um, pretty soon we'll see the yes, ladies' closet. the men's closet. The, the men in our world do not get a fair shake when it comes to closets. Here we have the master bed bathroom, and this is a spectacular room with a slipper, with a slipper tub. Again, that's a vintage piece that probably came from Second Chance in downtown Baltimore. I Plus, love how even the shower has a skylight, so you have all this natural light in this room, but even directly in the shower. And Blani, as you say, we've got all these wonderful areas for storage over here, and I think one of my favorite things in this that, well, there are two favorite things for sure. The first one is this vanity that is tucked away and hidden. So wow. you've got this, all this great space, but you're not looking at it unless you decide you want to use it. What a perfect makeup table dream come true. Yes. Oh. And so you just pull your stool out and you can sit here and organize all of your makeup things. And this it's is so awesome. I want it. I know. <laughs> it, it, is, it is quite something. All the little storage on the side. Mm -hmm. Again, very, very well thought out, and very economic, great economic use of space. And then here is the other wonderful. This is the real item. closet. So, a true walk in closet with a skylight and you have this these units that slide and give you even more hidden space back here so you have double layers here to really utilize the space yes. even though this closet is already quite large now and it's even larger yes and space above how many pairs of shoes do you think you could fit on I don't shoes? I don't know but I'd love to give it a try <laughs> And here we have the water closet, and when you go in, you can take a look at the beautiful detail on the wall with a little shelf. Very unique, very custom. Again, everything is just so well thought out and considered. I think with this house, there is tremendous flow no matter where you are, because again, we are at a, in a room where there's access to the outside. And this is another wonderful porch right off of the master bathroom where you can take a shower, come in your robe, sit out there, have coffee, and enjoy, enjoy the gorgeous views. Am I mistaken, or does every room in this house have access to the outside? You, it seems it's pretty like it close. It, I, I, we'd have to count, but I think it's pretty close that just about every room has access to the outside. Sun, well, even the sunroom does. Yeah. Blondie, the last area of the house that we need to take a look at is the basement. And as spectacular of an area as where we've seen today, this is pretty cool too. So let's go. Here we do have a full bath as we head down to the basement. 
sort of a hidden, hidden away, but very convenient if you, if you come in from outside. We have, again, another deck out here that wraps around with a wonderful garden table. And here we have quick access to the large part of the basement. We can come in this way. In this basement, there are 10 foot tall ceilings, which is unbelievable. Uh, this house also was built with two by sixes rather than two by fours. The two by sixes allow for a lot better insulation, more of insulation. To help and with that electricity bill. Yes. Is this where all of these incredible cabinets were built? Yes, he did. Right here in this basement. He actually, when he started to build this house, this had a roof on it and he built a lot of what he did and then he took the roof off and built up. Oh. So he did this house in stages. Uh-huh. So the next owner of this house could use this basement for anything really. They could finish it up or they could keep it as a workshop. Yes. From my perspective, they could turn it into a photography studio. Yes, and you have <laughs> access out the back there. Thanks so much for showing us this house today, Michelle. You're welcome. I had a blast. It was great to have you come. And I think we had a nice look at a beautiful special home in Baltimore County. If you do have any questions or want any details about this special home, please feel free to look at the information on the bottom of this video and I am available. Thank you again for joining us today.